Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on a funeral elegy and today we're going to take a look at lines 415 to 435. So in yesterday's lines the author was building on a theme that had been going on for a, a couple of our days now in which uh, he posits that just because somebody dies well doesn't mean they were a good person and just because they die badly or violently doesn't mean that they were a bad or violent person. And in yesterday's lines he took it so far as to point out that every Catholic saint lived a miserable life and knew torture and despair and hardship and all that sort of thing and that's kind of how they got into heaven. So everybody else needs to sort of recalibrate their thinking to allow for good people to have died badly, because that's sort of what happened to Sir William Peter. And line 415 says, Such, and of such condition, may devise which way to wound with defamation's spirit, close lurking whispers, hidden forgeries, his taintless goodness, his desertful merit. But whilst the minds of men can judge sincerely upon assured knowledge, his repute an estimation shall be rumored clearly, in equal worth. Time shall to time renew it. The grave that in his ever empty womb forever closes up the unrespected, who when they die, die all, shall not entomb his pleading best perfections as neglected. They, to his notice in succeeding years, shall speak for him when he shall lie below, when nothing but his memory appears of what he was, then shall his virtues grow. His being but a private man in rank, and yet not ranked beneath a gentleman, shall not abridge the commendable thank which wise posterity shall give him then for nature and his therein happy fate. So this is saying even, even whether or not people um, recalibrate their thinking to allow for good people to die badly, once all the people that are trying to defame him, however it is that they're trying to defame him, once they're gone, they're gone and the rumors are going to stop and the speculation is going to go away and what's going to remain with him are his virtues and his goodness. So it's sort of a, it's almost like we just gotta wait out all these other people that are being mean to him. And like once they've died, everything will be fine and he'll be remembered as the wonderful person that he was. So that's that. And I will see you tomorrow for more. Mwah.